Have you ever wondered how some of mankind's most amazing technological marvels took place? Who thought it up? How did it happen? Well, I believe that it came about because somebody got a creative idea. Could it have been from a science fiction show that they wanted to make into reality? I think so. So what we're going to talk about here today on this episode of a Rensselaer Moment of Science is when does science fiction become reality? Sci-fi stimulates imagination. People watch shows and think, why can't we do that? Instead of what is a concept of maybe this could be done, we go to a plan to actually do it. So for example, I go back to the 1960s and we think of Star Trek. That was contemporary uh, with the landings on the moon, so we were all thinking about space. What we weren't thinking about were things like uh, the character portrayed by Nichelle Nichols, who we lost recently, amazing Lieutenant Uhura on the original Star Trek. She had an earpiece in her ear that nobody really thought was a normal thing at the time, but now we would recognize as a kind of an oversized Bluetooth headset. Well, those didn't exist at the time. We also had been exposed to what looked like iPads, which were a distant thought. Didn't happen until many, many years later. There are so many of these things, including, for example, a talking computer. Well, Siri does that for us right now, when we don't even think about it so much. So how do we get there? What does it take? Well, what it takes is some serious creativity stimulated by something like a science fiction experience. We think about AI now. What will AI be like in the future? Well, we have to make sure that it's ethical. We have to make sure that we maintain good interactions with our devices. And when the rise of the machines happen, we want to make sure that it's done in an ethical and safe way. Sometimes these things that we look forward to from science fiction don't happen right away. For example, maybe they're not going to happen at all. Warp drive? Transporters? Well, how about vacations in space? Well, that's a lot closer to reality, actually, than we think uh, right now. Where's my jetpack? A lot of people might say. Well, those exist, but you just may not have one. So let's think about what we need to do to make the next generation of technological marvels happen that make our society a better place. So we say here at Rensselaer, why not change the world? Thank you.